Hi, this is a video lecture about analog to digital conversion. Digital conversion means taking an analog wave, like this blue wave, and do two operations, sampling and quantization. The first one, sampling, consists of taking values of the wave every step, every little piece of time. So, for instance, we take one point, another point, another point, always the same time. The number of points is called the sampling frequency. It's measured in hertz, which means samples per second. One hertz is one sample per second. So for instance, here's an analog wave, the blue line, and we take some points. And doubling the frequency means doubling the number of points along the wave. So the more sampling frequency, the better, because there are more points to represent the original wave. But the data file is bigger. So what's the limit? Above what frequency there's no benefit in increasing the sampling frequency? It depends on the spectrum of the original signal. Here's an example, and in 0 0.01 seconds we see three cycles of the wave. Thus, this is a frequency of 300 Hz. We are sampling in this sample at 400 Hz, so in the same time there are four points. One, two, three, four. We can see in this example that the digital signal has one cycle in the same time. So if convert later from digital to analog, we will have a 100 frequency signal. So the spectrum is bended down from high frequency to low frequency. Let's see it in an example. We have a spectrum like this and we convert analog to digital at a sampling rate of 16,000 Hz, we will bend the spectrum down over the half of the sampling frequency. This is at 8,000 Hz. If we use a sampling frequency of 8,000 Hz, we will bend the spectrum down over 4,000 Hz. Since the spectrum is bended down by half the frequency rate, we should take twice the maximum frequency of the spectrum signal. This is called the nickest shannon theorem. Because the limit of human range is 20,000 Hz, we should take 40,000 Hz. But this would bend down the spectrum over 20,000 Hz. Higher frequencies will be moved down. To avoid this issue, we use an anti-alias filter who rejects all the frequencies above 20,000 Hz before sampling. Because a perfect anti-alias filter who has a perfect cutoff of the higher frequencies does not exist, there is always a transient band, we will have to take more than 20,000 Hz. CD standard has 44,100 Hz. GVD standard has 48,000 Hz. Let's hear an example. Here's a sound recorded at 44,100 Hz. CD standard. We're going to hear what happens when the frequency rate is lower. Without an anti-alias filter, we will still hear the hi hat, but at lower frequencies.
the second term is quantization. It means that we cannot store all the values at the highest precision. We must round all the values to the nearest value within a given precision. And this is called bit depth or the number of bits. In this waveform, we're using one bit. It means two levels, zero and one. Positive values are rounded to one. Negative values are rounded to zero. With two bits, there are four levels, zero, one, two, and three. You can see level zero, one, two, and three. With three bits, there are eight levels. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With four bits, there are 16 levels. With five bits, there are 32 levels. You can see that the digital signal is more accurate. As we saw in that pictures, the more bit depth, the better. But also the data file will be bigger. So what's the limit? Above what bit depth does no better quality? It's all about dynamic range. Dynamic range is the relationship between the minimum value of a function and the maximum value. It's calculated between the tenth logarithm of the maximum value and the minimum. With one bit, there are two levels, and this is six dBs. It means that the relation between the maximum level and the minimum are six dBs. With two bits, there are four levels and 12 dBs. With three bits, 18 dBs. Four bits, 24 dBs. Every bit increases the dynamic range by 6 dBs. CD standard uses 16 bits, and this is 96 dBs of dynamic range. In studio recording, you use 24 bits, and this is 144 dBs. In studio recording, uh, noise, room noise, may be under minus 96 dBs, but is always over minus 144 dBs. But in computers, uh, data is stored in bytes, which is a group of 8 bits. So if you want better quality than 16 bits, you must go up to 24 bits. In this example, you can see the difference between 16 bits and 8 bits. The first recording at 16 bits have almost no noise. In the second recording at 8 bits, you can hear a noise about minus 40 dBs. A little hiss at the beginning. Finally, when digitalizing sound, we have to take care of two factors, the bit depth and the frequency rate. The bit depth leads to the dynamic range, and there are two standards, CD with 16 bits and studio with 24 bits. On the other side, we have frequency rate, which leads to the spectrum of the signal. There are two standards. CD with 44,100 Hz and DVD with 48,000 Hz.